Verse 10, we have a hymn in our hymn book that comes from verse 10. Be thou humble, and the Lord thy God shall lead thee by the hand, and give thee answers to thy prayers. That verse is just as applicable to Tyler Griffin and Taylor Halverson as it ever was to Thomas B. Marsh or to you, equally so. Be thou humble, and the Lord thy God shall lead thee. There's something very, very powerful about that. Let's just write this out just really briefly. The, uh, the Latin word for humility is humilis, which actually means dust. And there's somebody that we're all related to named Adam. And Adam's name in Hebrew actually comes from the Hebrew word related to earth or dust or dirt. And so what God is reminding us is that we are no greater than the dust of the earth. He wants to make us greater, but we have to remember that it's he who exalts us. And we do that by remembering our origins. In fact, it's interesting that as children of Adam, now God's not trying to say mean things about us, but we were built from the dust or the dirt of the earth. And if we somehow think we're better than everybody else, that the dust I wear, the dust I eat, the dust I drive, whatever it might be, that our, that makes me better than anybody else, we fail to realize that all of that is built from the same creation that is owned by God. And what he's asking us is to remember we are his creation, not our own creation. He's asking Thomas B. Marsh, and by extension, all of us, if we're humble, if we remember our origins, that we are his creation, he will exalt us to be like him. But if we think we can exalt ourselves and build our own kingdom, or as the Tower of Babel was built, to think that we can use our own dirt to build our way into heaven, it doesn't happen. The only way is through humility. It's beautiful. In fact, he, he says that very thing in verse 15, exalt not yourselves, rebel not against my servant Joseph, for verily I send you, I am with him, and my hand shall be over him, and the keys which I have given unto him, and also to you, word, shall not be taken from him till I come. It's that, that clay in the hands of the potter. I'm, I'm working with Joseph, just like I'm working with you. Don't, don't rebel against him, and don't exalt yourself. Don't think you're better than, than you really are. And don't think you're not clay. And that I can shape you. Because if you choose to think you're not clay, then yeah, I, you're not going to allow yourself to be shaped the way that he wants to shape us.